Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is WFSL preview. I'm doing a little talk about um, Russell. Oh my God! Sorry about that. <laughs> talk about the card of WrestleMania. So let's just get to it. So night one, this will be Saturday. So it seems like they're gonna have like about seven matches each night. And they're not trying to go over three hours, so don't know how they're gonna pull it off, but we'll see. For Monday Night Raw, you had the WWE Championship match: uh, Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. Um, as you know, that Bobby Lashley did win it from The Miz, and then The Miz won it from Drew McIntyre, having Bobby Lashley beat him up, and Miz cash it in. Crazy enough, somehow, like, Drew McIntyre just suddenly just ended up in the getting the championship match. What they should have did is when they had a fast lane, had the number one contendership to um, Drew McIntyre. But then again, you know, WWE done this before, like, you're a big star, and the person just automatically just gets the title shot. So yeah, crazy enough. But um, I'm gonna say that um, Bobby Lashley should retain because you know he only had for like over a month now. So him just like losing it, then they hyping him up to be this almighty champion. So most likely, I think Bobby Lashley should win this title. I mean, well, retain the WWE title. SmackDown Women's Championship match, um, which was rumored today that that would be the main event of night one. Uh, Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. Um, Bianca Belair won the Royal Rumble for the women's on the women's side. Um, her and Sasha have been tagging up, going for the tag team titles. And see, they got a little bit of you know beef going on and all that stuff. So crazy enough. So it wasn't like intense or anything like that, but I see, oh, excuse me. But I seen what WWE was trying to do with these two. Eh, the, the more you know, right? Um, I picked Bianca Belair to win this title. Um, I think, I know she's been like, she's been called up for like over a year now. And it's like finally her time, man. This is a good thing for her. Uh, Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus The Miz and John Morrison. <laughs> kind of started since the Royal Rumble and just, just spewed all the way from there. But yeah, crazy enough. Um, all of Miz and Bad Bunny been like back and forth and stuff. You know, Bad Bunny had the 24 7 championship and now as I just mentioned earlier that the Miz had the WWE championship and for like a few weeks and uh, you know how that story goes. So who's gonna win it? Um you know they don't make celebrities lose their matches, so most likely it's gonna be Bad Bunny and Damian Priest is gonna win this um tag match. It was a one on one now is a um tag match. Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Um since Seth Rollins returned, like, you know, trying to do this speech, like embracing the future, whatever the crap he's talking about. So, and Seth Rollins was attacking Cesaro. They're going a little bit back and forth. And I think this is a way for them to, like, put Cesaro finally. That it just sucks that, you know, it took them this long for them to like put Cesaro to like trying to get up to new heights which he should have been pushed a long time ago well so <laughs> well Cesaro never was in a WrestleMania match I don't know why but he was in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and he won that one, so I don't, they must account. They must don't count that because it was on the um, pre-show or whatever, or they must have forgot. 
but it was the very first one. So, and he won it. He is the first one that won it and been a former United States champion and tag team champion from, you know, both brands. So it's kind of make it or well, in Vince McMahon's mind, this probably we make it or break it for Cesaro, but I think Cesaro should win this match just to elevate. But, you know, with this view, you can continue on with it, like drag it to the next pay-per-view and go at it. Then the next pay-per-view to go at it and that'll be it. So they can continue with this on feud. So I think Cesaro will win this match. Uh, Raw Tag Team Championship match, The New Day, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods versus AJ Styles and Omos. So Omos is going to make his wrestling in-ring debut after, you know, being on AJ's side since, like, the fall of last year. So and he's been showing a little bit of what he can do. And, and New Day just won the tag titles. I think they won. Yeah, I think they won it on. I think it was on a raw or fast lane, but I think it was on a raw. But I think AJ Styles is almost is going to um, win this match. Um, there's no way the New Day can stop, like, like on AJ Styles, especially them was trying to stop almost. It's almost likely uh, AJ Styles and almost is. I think he's going to win this match. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon in a steel cage match. Why it looked like somehow Shane McMahon is going to try to win. And this was kind of like the stupidest storyline that they can do, like going back to the, you know, Talk about Braun being a bully and all this crap. So, yeah. So crazy enough. Um, I'm going to pick Braun to win this. Um... Like, it was a stupid storyline, so I don't know why they, you know, do this, like, Braun's return, and Sunday Shane McMahon is trying to help Braun be better, but mainly just humiliating him and all crazy stuff. So, um, next one, the tag team terminal to earn the shot of WWE Women's Tag Team titles. So whoever wins this would go into night two to face Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler. Um, you know, they was putting them, you know, around. The, um, you know, they was trying to, you know, put some of these teams like in the tire pitchers, like some of them like already fought for the tag team titles already mess most likely all of them did except for Natalia and Tamina and Carmella and Billy Kay. So Carmella and Billy Kay will be the wild card on this one. So like I'm one I ain't gonna say that they're gonna win, but there will be like a wild card if they did. But um, just from what happened tonight between Tamina and Tamina and Nia Jax, um, I think Nia, Natalia and Tamina will win this. Um, because I believe like they, them two, are the only chance to actually, you know, can beat them. But. I was going to go for Naomi and Lana, but they already had their um, tag team title shot like weeks before. I think it was weeks before Fastlane. So my prediction of them doing it at WrestleMania was out the window. So 
what can you say? So that's it from night one. Now we're going to get on to night two. Universal Championship Triple Threat Match. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Edge versus Daniel Bryan. Edge did win the Royal Rumble to you know, go against um, a champion of his choosing, um, which I was one of the few, I, believe me, I was one of the few people that think he shouldn't have won it. But the storyline makes sense on how they're doing it. But um, of course, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns got a little bit of history with um, them fighting each other. At, I think it was they had the matchup for Elimination Chamber pay per view for the title. Although he beat Daniel Bryan quickly after Daniel Bryan endured the Elimination Chamber. And they had a rematch at Fastlane, and you know Edge got you know a little bit involved, and Roman Reigns ended up winning that. But um, somehow Adam Pearce says Daniel Bryan is in, and they made it a triple threat match. <sighs> After the promos that they had tonight on SmackDown. I definitely know that Roman Reigns is going to lose this match, but I wouldn't be surprised if he won it, but I'm just pretty confident that Roman Reigns is going to lose the match. And so that leaves between Edge and Daniel Bryan. Um, Daniel Bryan can get like, a, he's probably going to get a rematch against maybe Edge or something like that. Then they might have, well, they might do Edge and Daniel Bryan, whoever wins it out of the two prior rematch on SmackDown or whatever, then, had Roman Reigns face, you know, the winner on the pay-per-view or something like that. That would be an idea that they could do. But uh, most likely, I think it's going to go to Edge. So, like, it's, it's been a while for him. So, it'll be the first time him winning the Universal Championship. So, it'll be good for him. And especially, like, with the fire and desire that he put on during his promo tonight. So I think Edge is going to win it. The Fiend and Randy Orton. So, you know, this story was going on ever since um, close to the winter of last year and going, and with their few happening with that, um, you know, infernal match where um, Randy Orton put the Fiend on fire, then didn't show up until fast lane. And they knew they was going to build this up for a while. And we kind of figured that this was going to happen at WrestleMania. But just mainly just how it went and all this good stuff. So most likely, I think that The Fiend should win this one because, like, Randy Orton already beat him. And now it's time for, you know, The Fiend at least get a win out of this match. Well, out of the um, matches, so they can probably face again if you know they decide, you know, if the WWE decides to have them face off again. So, this would be one interesting match. So, too bad it wasn't a stipulation match in this one. This would have made it more interesting. Like, I'm saying is it is interesting, but I'm saying it would have been more interesting if they had a stipulation in this match. Incontinental Championship Nigerian drum fight match. I don't understand this match. I really don't know what they mean by Nigerian drum. I don't know if it's like a no holes bar match or you can just beat each other to the ground until there's a winner. So I think I didn't catch like the um, explanation of this match. So I guess I'm going to be finding out for the first time while I watch it Sunday. So. Big E, the Intercontinental Champion versus Apollo Crews. Um, you know, they fought like, you know, a lot of times. So, different enough, and Apollo Crews did like, you know, from this new character, this new side of him. And I think like, because I said Big E was going to win at fast lane against these two, and that ended up being true. But 
I'm thinking I'm going to go with Apollo Crews for this one, for him to finally do it, finally become the Intercontinental Championship, well, Intercontinental Champion, and see where he goes with winning a title with this character. So we will see. Raw Women's Championship, um, Oscar versus Rhea Ripley. Um, she made her debut, like um, Raw debut came at um, Dad the Fast Lane, um, challenging Oscar. She just straight up just challenged her. Um, I think like she made it should have been like maybe in a number one's contenders match, but Oscar beat everybody and. They had to throw in somebody that she never faced before. So Rhea Ripley is the one. So most likely I would think that um, Rhea Ripley, but they could have a rematch with this if they want to. Like if Oscar retains, it's going to be a rematch. It might happen on the next pay-per-view, which is Money in the Bank in May. But I think I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley. No, Asuka had it um, long enough. She had won it back, you know, from Sasha Banks. I think it was at, um, I think she won it back at SummerSlam or was it on a Raw after SummerSlam? I'm not sure, but yeah, because Asuka hold it that long and I think it's time for her to drop it. So I think really Rhea Ripley should win this match. Um, United States Championship match, um, Riddle versus, oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. This computer is just so sensitive. Okay, there we go. Um, Riddle versus Sheamus. Um, no, they start their feud on like Raw and stuff, Sheamus ended up winning the match against Riddle, then decided he was worthy of the United States Championship match. So that's a good one for them. But um, I know Riddle just win it, and Sheamus is a good opponent for him. But I think Riddle will retain. Then he's going to be one of the um, few titles that's probably going to, like, retain. So it, it's going to be, like, a lot, of channel, a lot of title changes, in my opinion. But I think it's just going to be, like, retained with, you know, with Riddle. And I think I said Bobby Lashley probably be only two that was going to retain the title. Um, Kevin Owens versus Shane, Sammy Jane. Um, I see what they try to do, but it's just like they can do much better with this, and they should have built it up sooner than actually later. But who knows? Um, Sammy Shane won his match last year against um, Daniel Bryan for the IC title. So it wouldn't hurt Sami Zayn to win it and give Kevin Owens the win for this one. I just think it just, just my opinion that Kevin Owens winning, winning makes the most sense because you can do a rematch out of this. It could be on this mat now or the next pay-per-view. So however they want to do it. But it's just Kevin Owens winning just to me makes the most sense. And last but not least, the WWE Women's Tag Team title match. Shannon Bantha versus Nia Jax versus the winner of the Tag Team Turmoil, which I think will be Natalia and Tamina, which I think have like the better, the best chance of beating them. So I think most likely that um, I think Natalia and Tamina is going to win this match. So I think they're going to be new tag team champs. So that's it for me. Um, that's my opinion. So we'll see tomorrow and Sunday if I'm going to be right or not. So 
we will see. Um, like this video if you like it. Um, drop a comment if you think um, I'm wrong in my opinions or just comment what you think who's going to win tomorrow night and Sunday. So I will most likely will be um, post like stream, not streaming, like a watch along on Twitch, which I know I haven't done that in a while and I know I need to. But um, like I said, we're doing a giveaway. Um, 150 subscribers, the lucky person who I pick will win the Iron Hammer Fungo Pop. As soon as we get to 150 subscribers, I will do a separate video for that. And for, and if we can get like 200 subscribers, we will give away a brewer's mask and a brewer's t-shirt. So the more you comment, the bigger and better chance you get to win it. So hope y'all like my opinions or just think that um, if I'm gonna be right or I'm gonna be wrong, where the case may be, just comment and just let me know what you think. But until the next video, everyone, enjoy WrestleMania.